Hi, in this session we are going to learn a hacker rank problem titled gemstones. Let's read the question and try to understand what exactly does the problem statement say and what is the task what we need to perform in this. It basically says that John has collected various rocks, right? Okay. Now each rock has various minerals embedded in it, right? So John has collected various rocks and each of the rock has various minerals okay embedded within that rock now each type of mineral is designated by a lowercase letter in the range ascii value a to z right everything is represented with the values a to z in lower case right we do have complex mineral compositions but for simplicity we are just assuming that all the mineral values are single digit and it is from a to Z. It also says that there may be multiple occurrences of a mineral in a rock, meaning the same mineral value can occur multiple times in the same rock, right? Okay, and this is a main sentence. A mineral is called a gemstone if it occurs at least once in each of the rocks in John's collection, right? Okay. Now, to understand what exactly does it mean, we'll try to read the example which is specified here. It basically says that given a list of minerals embedded in each of John's rocks, display the number of types of gemstones he has in this collection. Right? For example, he has three rocks here. The first rock has the composition ABC, second rock also has the composition ABC, and third rock has the composition B and C. Right? Now, in these three rocks, identify the minerals which are present in all the three rocks. And we can observe that the mineral B is present in all the three rocks and mineral C is also present in all the three rocks. So, we basically say that, okay, the B and C, right, okay, minerals, they are called as gemstones, right, okay. Then, what we need to do, okay, again, we will try to see the input out here that the input basically says that the first line will give me the number of rocks, second line onwards one by one is going to give me uh, the mineral composition of each of the rocks. Now if you look into this one, you can observe that, you can observe the DD, mineral, same mineral occurring more than once, right, that is what it means to say here. Now we need to identify the gemstones, meaning what are the minerals or rather saying what are the minerals count of minerals which are gemstone which are occurring in every rock like for example here you could see A is present in all the three B is also present in all the three C is only present in first two but not in third D is present in first and second but not in third right E is present in first and third but not in second right the same way G is only present in the last not in the first two so the only mineral which is occurring in common in both is like E and B, right? Okay. Now this particular problem can be solved using two ways. Okay. Now one of the way is you look out for mineral A. Is it present in all the rocks? Then is mineral B present in all the rocks? Is mineral C present in all the rocks? So this is one way through which you can actually do it, right? So let us try to write a code for that. So first a line of input will be like you try to read uh, the number of rocks and after that what you do it is you basically try to create a list and then you place okay all the rock entries for i in range of n which is where n stands for the number of rocks and then I read the input from the user and then keep on adding up to the list of rocks right. Okay, so if you want to verify this, you can always verify this like as the input read properly or not, right? So you can just try to write the code for uh, printing this, okay? You can quickly uh, verify this like, okay, fine, I want to uh, work for 3 and then ABC, then ABC, then let us say DE, okay? Uh, if you say in this particular case, there is no mineral at all, let's say CD, right? C is the only thing which is common here, right? Okay, but as of now, let me tell you that I have not done the code to uh, verify all the minerals. I'm just checking if the input is read properly. Now, the next part is I need to count the number of gemstones, 
right gemstones okay right so i'll use a variable called as gemstones which will be initially set to zero now as i said that i need to check out if mineral a is present in all the rocks or not is mineral b is present in all the rocks or not for that what i'll try to do it is i'll try to generate all the values from a to z how do i generate values from a to z either you can take a string a to z and then keep getting the character one by one or what you can do it is i can just do it with the help of range but range okay here i'll try to take in values from one sorry 97 to 123 the reason why i'm taking 97 to 123 is like i know there's the uh, the lowercase alphabets has the ascii value from 97 to 122 right and then okay when i say 122 z has value 122 okay 123 is not inclusive right so that purpose i've just used up to 123 so that it goes all the way from 97 to 122 now this will give me numbers but i want to know the character corresponding to that i want to generate a then b then c right now how do I do this? If I just write mineral equal to i and assume try, I try to print mineral, it does not say a, b, c, d. It basically says that 1, 2, 3, 4 or it says sorry, 97, 98, 99. But I don't want that 97, 98, 99. I want to get that a, b, c, d. If you want to get that, you can just write ch, r. Okay. Now, this will give me like a, b, c, d, e, f. Let's quickly verify this right uh, and then i don't want to worry much about the input i just am concerned about this the minerals right it's generating once i generate the minerals i want to check out like when the mineral value is a i want to check if a is present in all the rocks or not right so for that i'll try to write for rock in rocks right this is to access every individual rock right the first rock then second rock then third rock Okay, here I'll try to check if the specified mineral, is it present or not present? In case if it is not present, then okay, it is not a gemstone, right? Okay, I'll just say stop, there's no point looking onto any further rocks. Assume that there are 10 rocks. In the first rock itself, one mineral is not present. There's no point checking in the second, third and all, right? Now, in the else part. and carefully observe here i have written the else which is not for the if but for the for loop right this is a specific feature which is there only in python it is not there in c or c plus plus or java right we can only have else for a if there but here we can also have else for a for now the else for a for loop will only be executed if you complete the loop and then come out without using the break meaning if you come complete all the iterations and then come out okay then okay we, the else part will be executed but in any of the iterations if you had come out with the help of break this else part will not be executed right so i'd like to just write okay fine i got a gem right gemstone okay plus equal to one and i want to know what is the mineral right i can just say mineral value this mineral was present right in all the rocks right and finally you are supposed to print the number of gemstones right okay gemstones right remember we are only supposed to print number of gemstones and in between i'm trying to print the mineral okay which is uh, present in all the okay rocks right so this one i don't need to actually print it okay when i submit to the hacker rank neither this one right this i already verified it so i'll not remove this i want to verify this right so let us try to give a, a input like whatever we had it in our sample test cases right we'll try to give the same thing okay let us try to run this particular program so three inputs okay as per our problem statement we'll try to write a b c d d e right b a c c d then we have e e a b g right uh, the common things were A and B, right? So, totally we had two gemstones. Perfect. Clear? Okay, this is the code. So, if you want, you can take this code and submit it into the hacker rank. We will try to select Python here. Python 3. Okay. Now, remove that code. Place your code. 
and then as I said that you don't need to print the intermediate okay statements like what are the minerals right we need to only print the okay the number of gemstones submit it everything is fine okay I was also trying to print this information so I need to remove this this one is not required right run this submit it quite simple okay now there is an another way okay this is not the only method there's another method also right we can basically use a data structure called as set right now when you use a set remember if there is any mineral uh, occurring multiple times in the same rock those will be removed so i'm trying to convert this to a set you can just see d was occurring twice so okay the duplicate is removed and here c was occurring twice that duplicates are removed now in between this what i'll try to do it is if i want to find out the common minerals i'll try to perform an intersection of these two sets right you have the union intersection and all right so i'll try to perform the intersection of this so I, what I found is between the first and second rock, I found A, B, C, D as common. Okay, E was only present in the first rock, not present in second. Now I'll take up these things, the common things, okay, which is a intersection of A and B, and then okay, I'll try to perform an intersection with the third rock. Now on doing this, what I found is only A and B is common. C and D was only common for the first two, not present in third. E and G is only present in third, not common in okay the first or second right okay now finally okay this result whatever we got it is a and b are the minerals which are common and then okay the length of that particular final set is the answer whatever you were looking out for let's go back and try to do the code right so reading of the input is fine so i don't need to print here so this is the method okay uh first what i'll try to do it is i'll basically try to create a set i'll just say that the first one is rocks of zero i'd like to convert it to a set right and i'll say it is a and then for uh, i in range of n that is starting from the second one to the end right i'll just try to say that rocks of i will give me the second element third element and all those things right i'd like to convert it to a set again right and once I convert to the set okay I'll try to perform the intersection right the intersection is common so we use and I'm symbol out here I'd like to capture the result back into the same variable here you want to print the intermediate you can always try to print the intermediate here but make sure you need to remove this okay whenever you submit in hacker rank and finally whatever you have it in a this is like common minerals right so you can print a this is by common minerals and total number of gems what you find find is length of a right so the other statements are not required so you can just run this code and try to okay give various inputs and i'd like to give the same kind of inputs like three then i'd like to a b c d d e then b a c c d the e e a b g right i found this okay between first and second the common thing is a b c d and uh, that one with third one we got a and b the common is a and b and finally we got okay two so while submitting in hacker rank we don't need to print the intermediate results we don't need to print this and you can just try to print the remaining part so we can just see reading part was anyhow common this is the code right so we'll take this code and we'll try to submit in hacker rank done okay done guys problem solved fine thank you